Hey, what's up everyone? So today I'm going to be doing kind of like a little bit of an update. Um, I just got back from a little like date night thing because it was my birthday this week on Monday and I just like kind of celebrated it today. It is Saturday, April 20th. I also got a new Hydro Flask, which is why I no longer have my beloved escape stickers and my regular pink one and it doesn't have the nozzle anymore when i was like using the nozzle i found that there's a lot of like dirt that accumulated on it and it just like wasn't sanitary anymore so i decided not to get the nozzle this time i just got this handle thing and then there's this little um i don't know what it's called i honestly haven't done like a nursing school video in a long time and i know a lot of you have messaged me about it asking me when the next one and you've commented down below kind of just waiting on it but honestly um i haven't been like vlogging in general um for almost like two three weeks now those of you who don't know i'm in critical care right now which is like kind of like a heavy term and if i could like literally show you let me see if i can like pull up one of my calendars week you can literally see that I had clinical, then I had simulation, I had Wednesday as my off day, but then Thursday I had skills, then I had um, my med math, and then I had work, and then Saturday I had my lecture from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., so honestly that's been like every single week ever since we started, and it's like really, really stressing me out. Um, there's so much information to learn. It's just really, really hard to kind of keep up and keep the blog like fluid because then I'll just be filming like little clips here and there. So honestly, if you want to keep up with me and like what I'm doing right now, um, the best way to reach me is probably my Instagram or my Snapchat and I'll leave that either here or down below. And you can go follow that because that's more than likely where I'll post. I really did not plan out this video so it's just kind of whatever it ends up being the second week so that was the first week but the second week of school um let's see so for critical care this term we have to come in the day before our clinical to prepare and like get information on the patient that we're going to be taking care of so basically my sundays are like knocked out because that's like the whole day for my care plan and to prep for my next patient so Sundays are like gone for me. Mondays I have the, they keep us for 13 hours now, not even 12. They keep us from 6 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Or not 6 a.m., 6.30. Tuesday, I either have simulation or I have work. And then actually week two. So basically week two I had um, an interview for um, one of the programs that we had for preceptorship and it was a preceptorship for a specialty unit and we basically have to um, The first thing is you apply based on like Your GPA supplemental questions resume stuff like that and then that goes through they like pick a couple people to interview and then um you get chosen from there like the transition to practice program you apply for certain specialties so for example i didn't apply for these ones but these were some of them there was like telemetry l and d um they even added like pediatrics i think I specifically apply it under er or ICU. if you want me to talk a little bit more about like my interview process like what i did i might do that in like a separate interview or not a separate interview, a separate video because I can go more in depth on that. But yeah, so that's like the program that I applied to. I ended up getting placed in the IC, which is my second choice actually. Um, but it was still pretty cool, like that I even got like selected for the program. So that was neat. If you want to see my genuine reaction to it, it's been a couple of weeks, or it's been like one or two weeks. And uh, oh, I do have. I'll insert that clip right here. Oh my god, I look like such a potato right now. And my voice is like literally gone. Um, but I like just found out that I got into... Oh my god, I sound like a man. Okay, so I just got into the TIP program. Which is like this like preceptorship opportunity at my school. And I got into the ICU. Which is so fucking crazy. But oh my god, I can't talk right now. So 
so I'm whispering because I'm really really sick and I look so bad but I just wanted to get my like genuine reaction and that's why this is like literally on my phone because I was at the gym when they called me I was trying to like loosen all my secretions in the steam room but oh my god it's so freaking crazy um I'm gonna talk more about it later maybe when I'm like less sick but yeah okay bye <laughs> But that's like my genuine reaction to when they called me and told me that I got the position. That, that was pretty neat. Um, honestly, I haven't really been up to much. It's also, I've been sick. If you can't notice that I'm still trying to get over it. I've been sick since week one. Which is why I was initially going to vlog that first week. But I got really, really sick. Um, and like that just did not happen. So like overall like this term has been like really really hard to watch. Why I haven't been vlogging. I'm wondering why I stopped vlogging. That's why. Um, I really only have critical care and like that's it. Cause I took our online class, which is issues and trends, um, a term before. So I got that out of the way already. It's just like so time consuming. Like for these few first few weeks, like we had a concept map due, and then we had a group project due, and then we had. Our exam and then on top of our exam we had to do our prep work and then it's like so much information that we have to know within literally just a week of us learning it and I don't know for me adjusting from public health which is very like laid back to going to critical care was so so hard but I don't know maybe that's just me um but yeah, clinicals have been okay. I was in the ICU the other day, and I really like that. I think it's just because I use my brain a lot more, and <clears throat> and just like the environment in general. And um, it's a lot more quiet, obviously, because most of the patients are like sedated. Versus when I was on the telemetry, it was very really, like <sighs> it's busy, but you're like very task oriented, and it's very loud. And I don't really like loud. It's not like really my thing, especially when I'm trying to like work. But I don't know. It was just a surprise to me for me to place into ICU as my preceptorship just because I'm not really like a type A person. And like historically, people who are type A usually are the people who, who go to ICU. <coughs> who go to ICU. But I don't know. Maybe we'll see what happens. But. Yeah, we're still working on this term. Um, it's week four. Week four coming up. <sighs> In terms of my job, I honestly, I'm really comfortable with it now. Um, it's just like, I've been floating to other units. And sometimes it can get really busy. And sometimes it'll just flex me. But honestly, with school, I don't know how much I can really work anymore. So I'll like keep you guys updated. And see. A lot of you... A lot of you have been just wondering and I wanted to give you kind of like a gist of what's going on. Um, yeah, the term doesn't end until June like 8th or something like that. So we still have a ways away. But Alex will be graduating in June, I think 18th or something, which is really cool. If you guys have any other questions, like I feel like this video is very brief. But leave them down below or you can DM me on any of my social media and I'll try to get back to you. Um, one question I do want to address is like a lot of people are asking me advice in terms of, um, especially specifically the school that I go to. Please don't ask me like if you should go or not. Um, I honestly don't feel that I am equipped enough or have any kind of certification or even right to make that decision for you because that's not really my place um i can give you some logistics on it but i don't really want to like say too much about my opinion on it that's just not like my place to stand right now especially just being like a student trying to pass maybe at the end of it i will give kind of like an honest review and overview of the pros and the cons and such but right now i don't feel at all compelled to say anything um but yeah that was just one question i wanted to address but if you have any other questions like just like advice in general just shoot me a dm and i'll try to get back to you guys but i'm gonna go to sleep now wipe off all my makeup and i'll see you guys in the next video